I've had a good week now to start thinking about uh, my position here as the YourTube advocate. Um, and I, I got to thinking, you know, what, what my voice is and who I speak for. And I started thinking about the YouTube community. And then my thoughts started progressing on who is the YouTube community. This initially started snowballing when, uh, when uh, SXE Phil uh, announced that he's not going to be making videos on YouTube anymore. And I was like, well, that's a win for the community. And then I almost like stopped myself short and I'm like, well, is he a member of the YouTube community? I mean, this is a guy that's like showed up to gatherings and whatnot. I mean, so is he? I mean, I know a lot of the community members are mad at him, but does that expel him? Or other YouTubers like Nultz or Charles Trippy, of all these people that, um, the, these prolific the YouTubers that are also partners that uh, people kind of exile, and and it's not even a partner or a non-partner issue. It's you know you ever you ever like watched a video, and you and you click on who you know who the subscriber or who the who made the video, and you see that you're like the ten thousandth some subscriber, and you're like who is this person? How come I've never ever even heard of them anymore? And then you start realizing that. That YouTube is way bigger than what we think it to be. I mean, we have all these little circles of friends. You know what I mean? A lot of them are networked in together, and that's like the breaking of, you know, that's the start of like the community. I mean, that's that's what it is. It's all these separate networks, and you know, sometimes they give themselves names, like the, the Pirates Guild and Aliens and all that other stuff. I mean, and... And it's like, wow, who do I speak for here? And who am I to say who's in the community or not? You know what I mean? There's no guidelines here. There's no, there's no definition here. Now, here's what I, uh, here's my feelings. I don't, I think... There should be a level of respect within the community. I don't think people should take advantage of each other in the community as we've seen through what we call e-begging. But does that necessarily exile somebody from the community? A lot of people want YouTube to, to, to support the community. And I'm in agreement with this. But what we also need to recognize is that we don't need YouTube to have a community. We're all the community. If you're subscribed to this and you're watching me now, you're in the community. If you have a little network of friends and people that, you know, they, that send you uh, videos and send you PMs, they're the community too. I feel that anybody that's socializing through this medium is community and I guess that's who my voice is that's who I'm speaking for so my I guess the purpose of this video is to help everybody just realize that this is a little bit greater than what we are and like I said before we don't need YouTube to have this community okay we don't need them to facilitate gatherings we do that stuff all on our own all on our own all that we do need from them though is the tools to help support this community and to allow it to thrive because at the end of the day What's keeping YouTube alive isn't the people that are logging on to watch a monkey sniff its butt or watch a cat play a piano. You know, the people that are going to keep this alive is this community. Because when YouTube dies, as everything has its passing, we're all going to go somewhere else. There's a niche market here. 
hopefully YouTube can realize that so they can cater to that and provide us with such tools. Like, why is there a stickum that has millions and millions and millions of users? Why is there a blog TV that, again, has millions and millions and millions of viewers, and YouTube doesn't use such tools on their own to maximize that? Why have us go elsewhere? Help this community. Let us thrive. And at the same token, for the community themselves, we need to recognize who is the community. Who are the leaders of this community? Who are the followers of this community? Because if we can better identify who we are, we at least know who we're going to be rising together with. And that's all I kind of had to say today. I have a lot of issues that I've been working on um, that you guys have addressed to me, and, and they're in progress. And I will be um, posting videos to follow up with, but a little food for thought right now. You'll see that in the, uh, probably in the next couple of days on just uh, updates and whatnot, and what's happening out there in the YouTube uh, world that you guys might be aware of or not. But just ponder that question, who's the community, for a little bit. I'll be seeing you guys shortly.